So we're here at Toshiba at IFA 2011 and you're launching some new set-top box. Yes. So what is this? This is basically turning your television um, into a smart television in the case that you will not have any, any uh, wireless capability or internet capabilities built in. So this basically turns your TV with HDMI interface into a smart television. Any TV with HDMI? Any TV with HDMI, correct. So uh, there's an HDMI output, power, correct. Correct. and what else? Wi-Fi, Wi uh, a triple band, BGN, and Bluetooth built in as well. This is very important because it connects you to a very special remote control that we've built with the capability to literally sit on your couch and if you play around, literally, I can, I can even show it to you. The Bluetooth connection is basically connecting with the remote control. If you, this is for plain, simple operation of search functions of basically the device itself. But if you flip it around, a sensor will notify that you'll have the keyboard on top. And from that moment on, you will be able to literally type in URLs, in this case, in this device. So this is a very smart, uh, 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 smart remote control. Basically, the device itself gives you the connection to your to any router uh, with Wi-Fi in re regularly router with Wi-Fi in BGNN, and it will be will be able to to literally connect to your standard home net internet. Is it technology you will include inside the TV as well? Basically, this is uh, some of the technology definitely uh, is part of any smart TV nowadays, right? Even Toshiba. But basically, there, the vast majority majority of TVs you will find now in the market nowadays do not have uh, smart technology as such built in, right? Because of the, the basically all the, the TVs that were shipped with HDMI over the last five years. But none of the Toshiba TVs have exactly this type of smart TV solution, right? Well, the, yes. The, 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 the difference is that there are some differences. There is any smart TVs basically for more details on smart TV, which should refer to the colleagues from the television division from us, from the Toshiba company. But literally, smart television in any way, which you see in the market, basically, we turn any normal TV without internet into a smart TV. Can we see the menu where you can do? So, this is based on Linux? This is based on a uh, Linux uh, version. What you see here is literally a, a very nice graphical user user interface, which we standardize within the Toshiba uh, Digital Life system, and which is always the same. Even in future products that we will launch, uh, you will find the same user interface. It's, it's a very easy. Thing. What is that? <coughs> you can do a video. This is the one. This is uh, this is turning your um, smart TV basically into a telephone uh, video conferencing system. So how do you do that? Is there USB ports? You there is there is a, a, a future development going on uh, where you can connect, for instance, like cameras, and we. Um, um, Basically, made already the device suitable yeah. for future uh, for future development. But uh, right now, there's no USB out, right? Well, there is a USB. There is a USB here. Yeah. Here. There is USB host built in. Yeah. You cannot see. The only thing is maybe for your movie. I can um, maybe even show it uh, here because it's easier for your movie. Uh, so there you can see the ports. Yeah, exactly. So you have three times USB two. Three USB two. Yeah, you have Ethernet, LAN, and HDMI. This is the the, cable, yeah. the connection which I just mentioned. Of course, wireless as well. Yeah. And you have a USB device and card reader. So uh, basically, you connect your, your 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 device basically to a notebook as well. All right. And you and you have a card reader built in. So there's a full web browser and it's an ARM Cortex A9 CPU. 1.2 yeah. gigahertz. 1.2 yeah. gigahertz. Yeah, correct. So it's fast web browser. It's fast web browser. Multi tabs, you can have different tabs. You can, yeah. Is it based can. on WebKit? Yes. It is based on yeah. WebKit, yeah. All right. Uh, but it's not running the Google TV software? No. 
no. but it's similar? Or? I don't know whether it is really uh, something that Google TV has. It's basically our own development, which, is, which comes first. Uh, the most important thing, which we would like to add, we don't want to literally being uh, uh, compared to what yeah. competitors do. What is, what is very important to us is also the fact that uh, this device also recognizes other Toshiba devices, like, for instance, a camera, which you can see there, or for instance, uh, uh, um, a television even, which you connect. The, dev the device con uh, recognizes a Toshiba device. Nice. So how soon is it released? When is it available? Uh, uh, at the very end of Q4. And end of Q4, this one? Yeah. And what's the difference between this and this? What is this? This, this is a, 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 a typical smart TV enabler, right? The Story TV Pro. Yeah. The other device is basically a very, uh, very well-built uh, multimedia hard drive with uh, a multi uh, uh, codec support. Is this basically. also ARM or is this a real tech? Or? This is a, a real tech based. Real tech, okay. Yeah. So this is uh, internet and this is just offline? This is basically offline, yeah. Can you play all the same video codecs here as well? I think yes. This is. Um, so you could connect a USB hard disk maybe or. Yeah, you can connect any hard drive basically to this device uh, when, it, uh, when it offers USB connection. Is there any Correct. price? Uh, this is, we are still working on a final price, so at this moment we cannot give it. It'll be worldwide. But for sure, it will be uh, a very competitive price. That's the goal. Okay.